their loved ones and some con artist swindles them out of what little they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. I filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. How much we can do with this new detail anyway? What are we, a couple of mall cops? Should've just shot the bastard when we had the chance. It's tough and my former engineers hit the bar. Shepard, you're alive. I told you, nothing can take down Shepard. We heard about the Reapers attacking Earth, then Cerberus decides to screw you too. I can't believe we work for them. Not anymore. So you're not on the elusive man's payroll anymore? After the Alliance locked you up and impounded the Normandy, Cerberus recalled the whole crew. But we slept away. We were there for the Normandy. For you. Nor for them. And there was something creepy about those recall orders. Just didn't feel right. She's got good intuition. Cerberus helped us take down the collectors. They served their purpose. And now it's time to pay them back, right in their daddy bags. Let us join you, Commander. We'll serve on whatever ship you fly. We want to help. Grab your gear. Normandy's docked at Bay D-24. You've got Normandy back? Fantastic. I miss her. Thank you, Commander. We'll see you on board. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, though. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Just saying. But I know you're human. 
just like me. But not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. When we get back to Earth, I'll buy it. You sure you don't want to buy me a drink? I'm just gonna hang here for a while. admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. 
I got seasick eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get an ovarian rub here. In other words, I'm in hell. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm gonna slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Gnarl will explain it. If we're gonna work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. At least a little. How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk to you about releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing, I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. It'd be smart to bury the threats, Sidaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. Thank you. 
Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Oraka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Oraka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Oraka, see if you could get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to Raisin, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned that, uh... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. What about the food we were promised? It's been allocated to the Presidium. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vicarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. Men? Get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh. You're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Shepard, the Council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Talok, of all people, got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Commander Shepard. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel, Commander. The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top-line arms. The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. 
Let me see what I can do for you. I'd appreciate your help, and I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here, and all my arms are legal, see? These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top-end inventory? Shit, you slumming for C-Sec too? I already got harassed by the old Turian with a bad attitude. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. So I'm getting a jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. So what gets me access to your top shelf? Heh, <laughs> Turian just waved credits in my face and then spat on it. Nice to see you have flexibility. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no problem. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Credits don't talk with me, Commander. C-Sec wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple artifacts. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here in a minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and... Uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. Quiet! <clears throat> I have to look even more powerful than Creep thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard... Want you to know, your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use Blood Pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Rill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. For a fresh spreadable alternative, organic variant. You're back, huh? Any luck out there? Here, I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making C Sec very happy. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. No, no, no. I'm telling you, I saw the look in his eye before we started off across that street. It was like, come and get me, Death. You piece of shit! But you're not getting anyone else. 
Exactly. You're not getting anyone else. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Are the blood pack falling in line? With Grill in charge? Where all systems go. It's his voice, but my words. Couldn't have asked for a better puppet. The blood pack have committed 2,000 Vorcha to the cause. They'll make up the bulk of the army. Is Darner Voss cooperating with you now? Getting General Araka off the Blue Sun's back did the trick. Voss still thinks he'll be getting me on mine, idiot. But he's committed his veteran soldiers to me. In turn, I commit them to you. What have we gained by having the Eclipse at our disposal? A ton of mechs and elite troopers for stealth operations. Sane has turned out to be more malleable than Jonas Sedaris ever was. My control of Eclipse runs even deeper than I expected. You surprised me by taking such agency in the matter. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Something else, Shepard? You've been injured. Sure you want right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? <sighs> I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. <sighs> well, the future flashed for me. The anguish, the, the families children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard, to save at least a few lives. Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a spec ops program for a special operations biotics division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert, high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah, bit of a hard-ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... We're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs, taking red sand. You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. But my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. More experienced? Yeah, could be. I think I'm a better soldier than when I served with you. Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver, but Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No, not yet. 
But I hope... Huh. I'm hoping Dad's Alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. Are we gonna be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. But I don't know. Even back on Mars, I mean... Things were rough between us. So? How do we fix it? I'll admit, I own a lot of that. You were standing right in front of me and I was... I shut you down. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's just put it behind us and get on with what's important right now. Bury it? Bury it. Forgive it. I... I think that's how we get past Horizon. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. So, you're just silent behind enemy lines until the war is over? No, they've got us on rotation. We're mostly in fortified homes until strike teams clear the area. You finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for Drydock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive. And that's a good thing. Maybe so. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody's given up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look. No guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had easel cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this.